All right, folks, I want to show you how to install a little app that I discovered while doing some C-sharp programming. It's an open source project called ShareX. I believe it was originally designed for sharing screenshots and screencasts, um, but it is excellent for capturing an area on the screen and just automatically saving it to files just like Apple and Linux has an option to do. So this uh, really brings Windows up to the, you know, to par with the rest of them. Um, go to the Windows Store, just grab it out of there, wait for it to download. Uh, it is totally free, there's no in-app purchase or um, you don't even have to be signed in as a user I am signed in here but if if a pop-up said sign in now or something like that you could just say uh, no or, or later so you don't have to sign in for something that's totally free um, like this one is so as soon as it gets done downloading and installing there's a short little setup. Go ahead and launch it. And as you can see, there it's control print screen to capture a region. Let's go into settings and find upload file naming. And then untick the window name pattern and use, tick the box that says use name pattern and then just follow my lead on what you type in right here. It's that's percent wise year, underscores and underscore, percent MO is a month, underscore, percent day. It's it's pretty simple pattern there. Percent H is hour. Uh, I don't want to put an underscore there. Uh, I think it's percent MI for minutes. Let's change that underscore to a dash. You can see the preview right below the line here. Anyway, what we're going for is a nice timestamp, and this will just be automatically saved to a folder in the documents. I'll show you that folder here in a minute. It'll have AM or PM, depending on the time of day. It'll have the, the year, the month, and the day. That's the proper way to save it timestamp so that a computer can consecutively order the photos in that folder. You'll see how that'll be nice later. So I'm just double checking here to make sure that it auto saved because there is no real save button. And now we have it. We have a screenshot utility. You just uh, say no here. It says press no to cancel the current upload and disable screenshot auto uploading. I don't want to auto uploading anything. So press no. And now it's just control print screen. Grab. Grab any area. Control print screen. Grab. Pretty fast. Control print screen. and Grab. Now they're all saving to a folder. Um... It'll even grab the screenshot here. Uh, folder automatically, I mean, you can configure this, but automatically the folder is in documents, share X, screenshots, and then the year and day. So there's all the screenshots, and you can see that our nice little timestamp made some. Pretty PNGs if you go to detail here and let's slide this thing over. There we go. You can see the nice consecutive order that they're saved in. Okay. So right click on your tray icon and you can see all of the options. This thing is very configurable. One thing that's really, really neat is just the hotkeys, which they actually override some of Windows default hotkeys. So, but you can just reset all those to suit yourself. Um, I suggest take a screenshot of this and um, open it up, save it in your OneNote. Um, here I'm opening it with the default 
Windows Photo Editor. Uh, uh, you know, I'm not going to save any of this garbage. But you get the idea. You can do anything with it because it's a PNG. It's just a basic photo with the transparency layer. You can save as, resize, copy, open it with, save as, or say, yeah, set as. So it's just you know, something like a, a desktop wallpaper. Anyway, that's it, folks. That's how you install and configure ShareX.